we're going to cover the top 20 stocks in crypto most popular in our channel that's based on views and based on what comments from everybody so we'll cover 20 assets here's the list MicroStrategy, reddit fortnite brick coin arb doge ai artificial liquid intelligence grayscale litecoin trust the chronos coin milady meme coin talk with hat render jupiter injective krill aioz Network, Miro, Shadow Token, Pepe, Bonk, Pith Network, Floki, and COQINU. So let's start with the daily chart of MicroStrategy. As you all know, there's a lot of correction in Bitcoin right now. So quite a lot of sell pressure. You have to tolerate the, these red days. So most probably we're going to, as the, this is Sunday today, the stock is not trading, MicroStrategy, so we could go back to 1400 or even a little lower at 1200 based on what has happened so far this weekend. But you need to keep in mind that the stock initiated this move at 600. We're now trading at 1479, 1480. So a correction here is healthy for MicroStrategy. If we held the 1400 level, that's going to be even better. But if not, we will have probably support at around $1,200 per share. That's my take. The bull momentum is still active on MicroStrategy. It's the same thing for Bitcoin also. There's no panic at this stage. I think it's a healthy correction. You have to tolerate these red days. This could set you know, the long-term trend for the bull market. We always have corrections on the way up. We cannot avoid them. We are days away from the halving. So that will be impactful also for MicroStrategy. We just have to be patient. I'm not taking any actions right now. It's too volatile. This could shift and continue to go up very quickly. Very difficult to predict what's going to happen. But for now, MicroStrategy is still a great asset to have. On the weekly chart, just gonna make it bigger. On the weekly chart, we see here this consolidation right now. So we could correct a little bit, maybe even 1200 like I indicated, and then potentially continue upwards. We just have to wait. Everything is bullish, MA50, MA200, everything is turning. We have strong supports around 1100 and $1,000 also. We could have a correction, but it should be short-lived, my opinion. We could have a V correction, so a quick price action to the downside and a rebound as quickly to the upside. That could be an option for MicroStrategy. Let's have a look now at Reddit, Fortnite, Battle Royale, Bricks Coin, ticker BRICK, B-R-I-C-K. So we are at the support. So we have been trading sideways for a while following this initial pump of brick and we just have found support on the ma50 on the daily chart we also have a support a little lower at 10 cents so that's reassuring the ma200 is kind of flat right now it's trying to get up but it has not done that so far we're gonna need a rebound here to actually make it move upwards so it's part of the consolidation we are trading sideways for brick who has corrected but is holding strong on the weekly we see this correction recently very healthy nothing dramatic i think you should expect with all the assets that we're going to cover today quite a bit quite a bit of volatility high swings to the upside but also high swings to the downside i never trade with leverage because i want i don't want to lose my coins either to the upside or to the downside and because these assets are extremely volatile it's better to trade spot that's how i look at things it's up to you to decide what you want to do with your assets the next coin that we're going to cover is ai doge this is the daily chart as you see we had multiple trend lines upwards following this vertical explosion in price so we found the top corrected this was the first trend line we traded sideways and followed that trend line we broke the trend line 
found support on the MA50, bounce again, found the resistance on the previous trend line, then broke the MA50 and now broke the second trend line caused here by this bounce. And now we found support on the lowest level, which is 30,500, which was the previous peak in uh, December of 2023. We had wicks and we bounced back. We are trading at 33,886. The coin has corrected. It's unfortunate, but that's how it is. We're gonna probably try it sideways a little bit and we could bounce back, but we could have this trend line right now as a more healthy bull momentum for the coin. We just have to follow the asset and see how it behaves. The ME200 is going up to the right. The ME50 is going up to the right. The ME50 will correct a little bit and find, you know, go under the price. So we'll have to just be patient with the asset. So out of this huge structure, we hit the top here at 80,000. Now we are back to 30,000 like I indicated and we should trade sideways and move upwards from here. It's quite a big correction already. You are in a volatile asset. You need to tolerate these swings. So now we are gonna cover Ali. So these are the trend lines for Ali who has completely corrected and came back to support. Even worse than that, this was a critical support here. We were critical support at 0 0.025 cents that we came back to, that was the initial uh, vertical pump. And now we corrected, found support on the MA200, but we give it away. So now we are at the previous support of 0 0.02, so two cents. So we are here at the previous support of two cents. We almost went back to cent and a half. We just draw uh, down and then we came back. So we saved this support, but it's very, very fragile. We could even go lower. So we'd have to be extremely careful with Ali right now, who has completely erased all the different levels that it had. I think here would have been the best time to get out in the asset due to you know, breaking that ME200 support. And right now we're gonna probably trade sideways in this channel and see if we can bounce back or break down. Somehow all the different AI coins have been correcting quite a bit recently. It could come back, it's still narrative in 2024, how strong it will be, how every coin in the AI crypto world will react, very difficult to know but this one obviously is back to square one. So you see here that we are at a very, very critical support level. If, if not, we're going back to a cent and a half, and if not one cent, which is the base of all time price for the coin. So very negative price action, but we have corrected quite a lot with very strong volume in this asset. So now it's the turn for the Grayscale Litecoin Trust LTCN daily chart here. We have all the different lines that we have covered in previous videos. This was the steepest trend line that we had. We broke this, this trend line and we actually found support on the second trend line. So quite a strong correction as this stock has not been trading yesterday and today we could see a further correction. We could go back to $28. If this support here does not hold, we will have to see. And right after that, we have $25 and then the ME50 as support. So the correction could continue for LTCN. For those who want to get in the asset, this is a very, very positive price action. You need to wait for a base, some kind of support, and a bounce up. Once you see the bounce, that could be a great entry point in LTCN for the rest of the bull market. Bitcoin will bounce back. It's going to all-time highs. It's just a matter of time. We just have to tolerate this period of high correction and high volatility. The target of LTCN is still intact. We have just done a healthy correction so far from the base of the movement. So no worries for LTCN in my opinion. So now let's have a look at Kronos coin, which is the crypto.com app 
and website coin. I have this coin map to Holio. As you can see, the MA50 and the trend line associated with the MA50 did not hold. So we got a top at 17 cents or so, then found support at 16 cents. Then we corrected and found support on the MA50 and the trend line here. We bounce again, found support on the trend line, but gave it away a couple of days ago. And we gave away the trend line, but also the MA50 and found support now at near 13 cents. But we wick down as low as 11.3 cents. We have a support at 11 cents. That was the initial breakout. Are we going back to this level or going to trade sideways? We will see the MA50, the MA50 and the MA200 are still going up to the right, still bullish. However, the MA50 will correct a little bit, but the MA200 gives a lot of momentum to the coin. We have support in place. The coin has corrected, not as much as others, so it's a little stronger than the previous ones we have seen. Expect again volatility and you need to be patient with these assets. So on the weekly chart, we are at the MA200 level. That's why we got rejected. So it's kind of a normal technical correction right now, but it coincides with the correction of Bitcoin. So everything is in line for CRO. It's a healthy move. Just have to be patient, wait. If you want to get in and accumulate a little more coins, you could do that but it's up to you to decide if it's a right entry or not. Or you could wait for a nice base to establish and then a little bounce. Once the bounce is shown on the chart, then it gives you a little more confidence that the coin will continue to go up. That's usually a, a better entry than on the way down because you never know how big the correction will be. The next coin that we're going to cover, a popular one here in the channel, Milady Meme Coin, ticker LADYS. As you see here, the two trend lines on the upside have been broken. The steep one was kind of normal. Then we held here at support of 17,500 and the MA50, but we recently gave that support also and found support on the MA200. That's part of the volatility. Unfortunately, that's what's going on. I'm hoping that we get back to 17,500 and try to break above. We will see, but we gave out this previous peak here. So this is a very important rejection of support. We will need a lot more volume coming in. But again, these assets are quite volatile. Some of them don't have like tons of market cap. So a small amount of buying and a small amount of selling can bring these breakout levels. So keep that in mind, be patient. I'm still patient with most of the assets. I haven't sold anything yet. I think it's premature at this stage of the bull run. If Bitcoin bounces back and goes to all time highs and beyond and some of the coins do not follow, then you will have to take decisions on some of these assets to see if it's better to sell the coins and put those, put the, the, your investment back into faster horses. You don't know how all will react, so you have to just wait and see how the price action will respond. On the weekly, we still have this uptrend here on Milady Meme Coin, so we just have to be patient. It's a fairly new asset, it's not been traded tons. Uh, I know there's more data here that is not available, but the recent price action has been healthy in the fact that it corrects and has always continued the uptrend. It's part of the bull run. You have to tolerate these swings. I know that they are not very fun, but you need to have that experience once you get in crypto. It's way more volatile than stocks. It could be disappointed sometimes, but it could be highly rewarding other times. So be patient, be patient. One of the biggest and strongest meme coins of 2024 is the WIF, dog hat. This was the main trend line on the daily chart. We broke it just recently and found support around the MA50. And you see it here that it has already bounced quite a bit. So very good. We found support at $2. 
this is the next support now we're trading between two and three that's what will happen in the next few days in my opinion again all the assets have been correcting some are stronger than others and you should not expect all of them to behave the same way but those who correct the less are usually the first to bounce back up and therefore become your faster horses you need to look into these periods when it's red and when it's correcting to see where your faster and stronger assets are for the weekly nothing changed exactly the same thing found support at two now we're trading between two and three and we need to just follow the trend line follow the price action and see how the coin will behave now let's have a look at render ticker on rmdr so we found our top around $12.50, support at $8. We got rejected at $12.50, got slowed down on the MA50, but gave it away. And now we just broke that this trend line and we're trading near $8 right now, near the support. We still have this trend line still and the MA200, but now we're going to trade around $8 potentially for render. Again, this corrected a little more than with has not bounced back as much as with. That's how you start to establish difference in between the assets. We're still near this support of $8. If we can go above it and continue sideways and then bounce back up towards $9, then we will know that <clears throat> the correction is over and the price action up to the right will continue. Same thing here on the weekly, we clearly see that big correction that we have seen already so it could be that the correction is done or we're going to trade a little bit sideways or we're going to connect correct a little more be patient we need to wait for bitcoin to bounce back and then the having to be here and see how each coin will react fairly similar structure for jupiter the initial trend line has corrected the ma50 kind of slowed down the the drop and now we're trading at one dollar which is normal for a support one dollar two dollar three dollars are always uh, strong support usually in any asset as it develops its price action so we're gonna trade around one dollar technically for Jupiter has corrected quite a bit already and we should be fine in this level trade sideways and acquire more buyers to move forward on the weekly we don't have tons of data but it's the same thing we're trading around one dollar and now it's just a waiting game next in line injective ticker inj all this is a little trickier because we have uh, broken the 32 dollar support then the me 200 also was broken and now we're trading at $24. So this is a very very important support. If we break it and go beyond $20, we're going much lower. We actually wicked be below 20 and bounce back. 20 is the key. If we go below that, it's going to take a long more time to resume upwards momentum. We could still save it here um, at $25, but now we have multiple resistance levels coming so we'll have the me 200 the 32 dollars here and eventually even the me 50 as resistance so it's going to take a while for us to get back to the 45 dollar level for injective yeah very hard correction this week you see it here and we didn't see it in the daily chart but that wick actually touched the ma 50 on the weekly chart and bounced back again so that's how you can combine analysis of the daily chart with analysis of the weekly chart to see what to expect on an asset technically wise. And also, as I indicated previously, one, two, three dollars are normal uh, support levels. If not, when the price is a little higher, then it can be increments of five. So 20, 25, 30. And then when the price is even higher, then it's 20 30 40 and so on so that's also levels that can be built within the ta when the price is going up but also when the price is going down the next asset is krill ticker krl this trend line has been holding 
this vertical huge candle corrected to support we're back at 90 cents we gave away that support but now we found support in the MA50 on the daily chart. Now we're trading at 70 cents. So we're trading 70 cents, we're going to be between, I would guess between 60 and 90 cents are going to be, it's going to be a next corridor of trading for Krill. It has corrected, but it's following this upwards trend line right now. So bullish is still intact for Krill, fairly low volume asset, uh, quite volatile early project and low market cap so it's indicative of what we can expect for the price action you see here that the the trend line towards up and to the right is still intact the ma50 will continue to go higher we just need a green candle here to confirm that we're still going up and the momentum will continue for krill so now we're going to cover aoz network ticker AOZ. We have broken the trend line here and the 80 cent support level. We were slowed down by the MA50 and now we're trading around 62 cents and a half. There's not a lot of support here. We could go back as low as 33 cents in my opinion because there's not a lot of trading activity here. But so far we have been holding. If we come back near the MA50, the MA50 can be the support to bring us back to 80 cents. That was, that is the next option for this asset. On the weekly, we see that we got rejected at $1, which is the previous high in October, 2021. Correction, we have seen this before, but now we're in the, in the beginning of a bull market. So the MA50 is still going up to the right we just need a green candle here to come back closer to 80 cents and this could propel the price upwards again next asset is Miro. fairly easy to analyze this is the base of the trend line we have found support here exactly at the trend line the support at 25 cents did not hold the ma50 did not hold either and we are starting to bounce back already great sign that we could bounce back and trade between these two sections between 12 cents and 25 cents towards 25 cents and try to break above it eventually in the upcoming days and weeks but we could have completed our correction for Miro at this stage unless there's a lot more selling pressure if we give away this support next support is 5 cents and after that, it's going to be a cent and a half. So two next, two next level are way lower. But again, you need to tolerate these uh, swings and see how your asset will behave. Yeah, nothing much to say about the weekly, just that the trend line is still intact and we're still in a bullish type of structure. Now let's have a look at shadow token ticker SHDW, we're almost back to square one here. The support was at $1, we are trading at $1.30, coming from 240, so quite a big correction. This trend line here was broken, the MA50 was also broken. So we're gonna trade sideways here for a while. Again, this is an early asset, quite volatile, low cap. So we need to be patient with these assets. Same conclusions for the weekly chart for shadow token. Now Pepe, another meme coin for a popular meme coin. This support at 660 did not hold, the MA50 did not hold and now we're trading at 500, 550. So we have found support here. Again this vertical pump had quite a bit of volume but our, where are the defined support levels? It could be 500, 400, 300. It seems to be holding at 500 right now. If it trades sideways and bounces back, then it's going to be quite positive for Pepe. Again, healthy correction, highly variable asset. You need to expect these corrections, especially when you see this type of uh, pump. So most, pro most probably usually we see uh, 50 percent 60 percent correction from 40 to 60 percent correction on these pumps every single time 
So you just need to tolerate the volatility. Same conclusions on the weekly. We clearly see here the top and where we stop. So we are at 550 and most probably will be holding that level. As of bonk, we are almost back to square one. We This is the uh, breakout and now we found it as support. So all this price action has been completely canceled. Again, Bonk is part of the um, Solana blockchain, very early project, low market cap. So we could expect all kinds of um, pumps and big corrections in the asset. It's part of the, the process. The projects are growing, their activity is growing, and therefore you need to just tolerate this. I think it's a meme out of the Solana blockchain. But keep in mind that when the green days come and the price action goes up, the activity on these memes will be back. People will continue trading them. It's not something that will stop right now. The new people in the market are freaking out right now because they have not seen anything that volatile before so they need to adjust many will sell at the bottom once you have conviction on your assets you need to stick with them especially when you're in the middle of the bull run because you don't know how it's going to bounce how big the pump of bitcoin will be and how it will pull these assets up so if you're day trading i cannot help you but if you're trading long term you need to be aware of these um, swings and if for whatever reason you did miss this initial pump for bonk then you need to decide if it now it's a good time to accumulate a little more of these assets if it's something that interests you not financial advice you need to look at volatility as something to embrace get used to it and tolerate in a bull market if we were near the end of the bull market it would probably be a good idea to sell your assets. We, we, we should have set up um, sell price levels on the way down, if that was the case. But right now, I have not done this in my videos because it is not the time to do it. Eventually, once we are past, you know, three quarters of the expected bull run, then we will have to start to define levels at which we take profits and get out of the assets but we are not at that time right now. Again, same thing for Bonk. We are at a support of 1500, 1600. We just need to give it time, trade it sideways and start to see green candles in the assets and the buyers will come back to the asset. Very similar situation for Pith, the competition of Link. This was the initial trend line. We gave it away as we gave the MA 50 away also and now we found support here at 55 cents which is almost the start of this whole uptrend for pith we're going back to square one for a few of these assets again they're early they're young assets and that can happen it's up to you to decide what to do with the assets at this level the weekly same thing it has corrected it's up to you to decide if if you want to sell here uh, not financial advice it could be a very bad decision because you're near the bottom of the correction so if there's a bounce you're gonna miss it but there's slight possibility that we're still going to slide downwards but in my opinion it should be short-lived because Bitcoin will bounce very soon so now we have flow key another meme coin explosive uptrend we gave it away then we were slowed down at the ma50 this support did not hold and now we bounce back at 1300 13 1300 310 and now we're trading at 14600 so we found support in this area we could continue to correct the next support here is 7200 at the ma200 i think this could be you know already a big correction already we're gonna probably come back to this 1600 500 level as we already are bouncing back we will see if we hold this level then we can resume eventually with buying pressure from Floki the weekly the same thing 
It's a big correction for following the initial pump and it's just a healthy progression in the uptrend for the asset. And this is the last one, COQ. We are back to square one. As you see here, this was the initial top. We broke this level of 2,500. That was very important. Found the top at 6,500 and our founding support exactly at the same level. So back to square one for COQ. It's up to you to decide what to do with your asset. On the weekly, the same thing. Correction to healthy correction to this level and it will probably bounce back from now on in the upcoming weeks. Tolerate the volatility, again, tolerate the price action. You need to have conviction on your assets and you need to decide what you do next. See you all on the next video.